Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn what is run asynchronous. When you are using UiPath apps and creating an event rule, you have seen that. What is it in detail with an example we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. All right. To understand, first of all, we will take a simple button. Any button you can take. You don't need the entire app what I have. Just take a drag and drop a simple button. Go to the events and click on create rule. Remember this word a rule, okay? When I went back, let me go back. So here it says rule. So anything that you will be doing next are nothing but you are creating rules. So for example, here I'll go and I'm going to selecting, I'm going to select start process. So start process is a rule. Remember that because people will confuse when this, when these terms are used. So this is a rule. Start process is a rule. Now this start process, if you use this activity, it is asking me, hey, select a process. So I have uploaded a test process. I'm going to select that. And this activity has something called run asynchronous. Okay. And we have to understand how, what is the meaning of it and how it works. Okay. Now to understand it uh, in, in, a, in a detailed manner, what I'm going to do below here, I have a plus sign. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to add a message box or a show message activity. Okay. I've added this here and I'm going to write something. Let's say I'm saying, hi, good afternoon. Okay. I've added something called hi, good afternoon, a message. And below this, I'm going to add one more message box. Let's say, and I'm going to say show message and I'm going to say hi, good night. So this is for learning purpose. I'm doing it. Hi, good night. Okay. So there are three things. The first thing it should run the process and whatever is defined in the process. It, there is a simple message box I've kept. It is going to show that and then it should show hi, good afternoon and good night. Okay. So this is the sequence of things that is going to happen now. And in this one, I have not selected run asynchronous. What would happen if I select it? What would happen if you don't select it? Right. That is what we wanted to understand. So let me hit on preview. Okay. So my app is now ready. I'm going to simply hit on this search button. You can see the process started executing and the process has uh, the uh, UiPath Studio process has this. This is a test process. So I've kept a only a message box. Now you will see the moment I click on OK. Below this, I have kept two message boxes where I said good afternoon and good night. I said, right. So I'm going to click on OK. Okay. So what happened here? You saw good afternoon and good night. Two things has appeared. Now, what would happen if I'm going to select asynchronous? So remember the meaning asynchronous. I'll give you a simple keyword. Asynchronous means parallel. Okay. Run asynchronous means running parallelly. Getting it asynchronous means only thing that you have to recall parallel. So asynchronous means running parallelly. So here I have created three rules. If I go back, there are three rules here. Okay. First is the process start process is a rule. Show message is another rule. Okay. And sec third one is also another rule. So there are three things. Now what happened in the first time when you did not select this initially, I did not select it and run it first. It completed the process after then it has run the say, other two rules only after completing the process. It will run the other set of things. The moment I am going to select asynchronous, what I said, you have to remember the word parallel. That means along with the process, it is also going to run the other rules that you have set. Okay. Along with this process, it is going to run the other things parallel. It's going to run. So let me hit on a preview. Okay. So the app is ready. I'm going to hit on search. Now look at it. The good afternoon, good night also has come. The process is taking time. But again, the good night, uh, good afternoon and good night message box has already run. Okay. And you can see parallelly, uh, the start process activity is also running. Okay. It, it, it take, it took some time for the, for the process to start because it's running in the attended mode. But what happened? All the three things started running at the same time. This message box did not wait 
for the process to complete last time only when i clicked on okay they appeared but this time everything ran you know depending on the speed the first uh, the first two message box have come and the process took little time to because it's running from the attended mode it took its its own time but you have understood what is the difference between asynchronous run asynchronous means running parallelly if you do not check that box it means first it will run the complete the process then the second thing will start third thing will you know the rest of the things will continue after that if you check that run asynchronous means it is going to start everything all the processes will run at the same time okay the output might delay based on your process you know uh, it, it might take more time for the process to complete but again rest of the things has run parallelly so that is the difference between both of them so thank you guys for watching this is an interesting concept i'm pretty sure you must have liked it please give it a like and do subscribe to the channel we are going to meet once again in our next next content till then take care bye bye